Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes to knit. And today I'm going to show you my finished object and straight away I'm going to tell you it is a free pattern so you can check the links down below in my project page. Actually, it meant to be a different hat. Well, I haven't blocked this, so that's why you have to strong. It should be straight. Better? Isn't it gorgeous? And especially because of this yarn and a cute pom pom, obviously. Now, first things first, I'm going to tell you a few things about what the tools I've used and then more about a pattern ish. <laughs> And the story behind it. Right, the project bag I used is this one, this beautiful thing that I received uh, with um, advent calendar minis that I used during the Christmas. I knit a hat, it's going to be published soon, the testers are working on it, so stay tuned. It's gorgeous and the projects that they're knitting is amazing. Anyway, so I used this one, string one, from Dreams and Fiber. Such a cutie, forestry, fabric, a cute owl, gorgeous. Such a kind of calming project. Then, needles. And here are the needles I used. Um, the pattern recommends to use just one size. They say to use 4.5 millimeters. I don't know what that is in US, but I used four millimeters, which is US size six. And this is a cord, higher, higher sharps. In my lovely pouch, you can find the pouch in my shop. This is a berry color and silent forest pouch. I'll show you needles in a sec. And here are the needles. They're so, so, so sharp. So knit two together, SSKs, anything like that. It's a piece of cake, piece of cake, lovely. And this thing is moving. The joint is moving, but the needle is not going off the screw. So I'm, I'm loving it. If you are looking for needles, check my shop. Links down below. I don't need any stitch markers for this project. One, just starting around, I call it the starter. Um, the pattern tells you what to do while you're knitting the creases. So there was no need for such things like that. And I think there is a row just for the creases. So pretty quick. The pattern tells you to use a tape to measure your height. So it doesn't tell you how many rows you have to knit. It just tells you knit it for a certain length and knit it for a certain length. Yarn. The yarn I used is from Vocabulary Yarns. So you can see on the screen the lovely label and a bit of the color here. And now information more, Hawaiian ice, that's the color. And we have a blend on the screen, so check it out. It is it is 100%, it is 100% support merino, 181 yards and 100 grams, worsted. And I received this amazing yarn from Knitcrate with another amazing orange color. Sorry, I don't remember the name. I gifted during the channel, I think. I don't remember, was it as a gift or was it as a giveaway? Uh, and the person, so my lovely viewer and a friend got in touch with me that she would want to knit a hat with me. And I picked a different pattern, but I completely failed. Maybe not the time for me at the moment focusing on cables. And as you probably follow me for a while or check the playlist hats, you may notice I haven't knitted any, I think, cable hats so far. So jumping on that project was a little bit a big step for me. So. We live and we learn, right? But we had a second option, so unfortunately we we'll know we'll not have a matching hats with the same yarn, but Suzanne is going to knit uh, the same pattern with just a different yarn, so... I hope that counts. Here are my leftovers. Beautiful, beautiful blue. Like a, like a blue blue. <laughs> it is amazing, isn't it? I'm not sure will I wear a pom-pom. I put on pom pom because, guys, if you're knitting hats, please join Knit a Hat Cal on my Reverly page. 
uh, links down below to the thread. Hopefully, I don't forget to edit to edit there. But also, there's another podcaster, Amazing Taylor, who his podcast name is Wool Needle Hands. Wool Needle Hands podcast, and I'll put her thread down below. You can enter hats into her account too. It's a year of hats. She has a hashtag, maybe over here. I have a hashtag over here, knit a hat cackle. And she has a hashtag over here, WNH, year of hats, 2018. I hope that's the one. Um, but she has a certain theme per month. And for the month of January was a hat with a pom-pom. So I casted on this hat. I don't know, I think I knitted this hat in two days. Barely before midnight, I took a photo of the finished project. So I posted a few photos over here on the screen. You have what I posted on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram if you're interested to keep up to date with the things I do because I do not only post things about knitting there. So apologies for that, um, just in case uh, you would want just knitting content. And yeah, it was such an easy and relaxing and just go for it project. So I really recommend it. So big thank you for Banghead Hat to, to Suzy for the, designing this amazing pattern and putting it up there for us for free. How I actually heard about this pattern was from Dan from Baker Bears. I think he knitted at least one of those. That was his recommendation in case you were looking for it an easy hat in a worsted weight yarn. So thank you so much. And anyway, everyone is talking about your knitting sins. So my sin in regards to doing a hat is that I'm not swapping my needles for decreases. I actually use 16 inches, which is 40 centimeter needle that I use to do the creases. How I do that, you can check it out on Just Knit Hat. It's a free tutorial on my channel, so maybe I'll put a link down below and maybe over here for you to see how I do it, just so you get, in case you don't want to get any extra tools. Obviously, that kind of push limits for your cable, but let's face it, I just want to test high highest cables. Will it survive or will it break? Right, tell me, what do you do when you reach the creases? Do you swap, do you stay, do you use magic loop or are you going to, or are you using DPNs? Let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Bye.